health and our health store for pets. So I want to find out how many people actually sold some sort of pet product over the last couple of weeks. So if you sold any pet product, uh, please stand. Open this thing. 
church meeting, the people come and use the place. And we just really, from the bottom of our heart, Emily, thank you and your family, like we say each week, for having us here. But y'all, would y'all please give Emily Olson the love. <laughs> Really plan for it, right? 
But being the business owner, you're continually working, continually working. You have to think of the advertising, you have to think of the branding, you have to think of social media, you have to think of employees, you have to think of taxes, you have to think of payroll and all of that stuff, right? It's all you. So, uh, I was talking to one of my girlfriends one day, and I had, through, I had gone through several um, trainings because, again, I was going to, I went to several classes for celebrity makeup artists and all that, and they mentioned this motives. And I was like, okay. So I start researching. I can't get it anywhere. I don't know where to get it. And so the, the link that I found was Instagram. And so I was like, okay, so there's Instagram. And I was talking to one of my girlfriends, telling her my dilemma of what do I do, you know? And she said, no, yeah, I wasn't going to bring it up to you. But uh, Brittany May and Nicholas are working with this brand. It's called Motives. And I was like, um, okay. And she goes, um, but, you know, you might want to look into it because they're really having success, you know, success and they're growing and it's just amazing. And I have some of the products and they're really good. And of course, like I said, I've been burned in multi-level marketing before. It's another company and um, I had the first three months that I worked with that company. I worked my tail off, first of all. Second of all, I did $24,000 in sales in the first three months. My director or my mentor, who was supposed to be a mentor, encouraged me to take those profits and put it back into my business in inventory. It's a bummer. So she gets the car, I get to work more. <laughs> it doesn't work very well. So again, so I, I told my friend, I said, look, Jess, and she's not even in business, but she's a, a key player. And um, I said, look, I said, I don't want anything like that, whatever. She's like, well, just, you know, just see, see that. So I did. And pretty May, sweet Nicholas, I mean, they're amazing. And um, she called me several times, and finally we got on a call, a three-way call with Brandy. And she said, um, Brandy said, you're doing this anyway. You're doing this anyway. Because at the time, I had five kids to fill. And... I was spending about anywhere from eight to fifteen hundred dollars a month at NAC to fill that, and I wasn't getting anything for it. It was strictly services that I was providing. So I said, "Okay." So I look at it. So we met, and uh, through a series of events, I joined the business, and um, I had seen some work from uh, one of the lines with Scott Barnes. He was my hero. And um, so I saw that he had worked with Motives, and I'm like, okay, well, if Scott Barnes has worked with Motives, then there's something to this, you know? So anyway, I went through that, and I didn't get started right away. I was just using the products, and of course they were magnificent. And I found that I was able to do three, uh, three phases instead of two in an hour. So that was a raise on my part, okay? The quality, yeah. And um, so I really started paying attention to this. And then finally, um, with everything that had, I had gone through, my world was crashing down, you know, and I, I'm a Christian, and I believe that, you know, I talked to God all the time. And I said, Lord, <laughs> I said, Lord, I don't know what's happening, but I want you to clean house. If they're not supposed to be in my life, I, I want them out of it, okay? Boy, did he. <laughs> my friends were gone. My my team left. I didn't have anybody. I was having to rebuild on all fronts. And then he sent me the right people at that time, the right friends that I needed. And it's just funny how you know God knows what we need. Okay, even before you do. So I talked to Brandy. And she was like, you know what, uh, actually I was in a, a, what was it, a, some new op training. It was either Tom or Nick that was doing it. I remember I was sitting there with my team, Sarah, um, and she, we were sitting there, and I was like, you know what, I just need to do this. I'm just going to do this. Like, this doesn't, because I didn't know what I didn't know, right? I just thought it was, okay, I can get makeup and that's it. So I did, and, um. I got with Brandy and Tom, and I said, look, I need you to tell me how to do this, because I don't know, I've never done this before, and you have, and you're successful, so I put blinders on, 
and I said, I'm not going to listen to anybody but you guys. And I was at a convention, because that was the first time, that was my belief. I went to Miami the first year, and I was like, this is, this is serious business, you know? <laughs> I will never miss a convention, ever. <laughs> to 
be restored. There's no cookie cutter solution. 
So a lot of the, uh, well, several of these skin lines you'll see uh, as we go on are great for anybody. Um, however, the customization of it is why I love it so much. So just a little quick overview. Um, they're all, most of them are as much as, as they're natural as much as possible. Um, they make use of uh, botanicals when they can, and for the most part they do. Um, it, it just, when you get to the science of it, it, it kind of strays, but that's okay because you have to have a little science when you're getting a boost. <laughs> so, um, I already said about the science on it. Um, these products don't contain anything harsh like chemicals and parabens. There are a few little parabens in it, but they're natural parabens, and those are necessities because you got to keep your product fresh. Um, there's no binders and fillers, like I said, and because of all that, and they keep it as you know botanically blended as they can, it's very concentrated, so it doesn't take a whole lot. So um, the price point on this is great because you're getting a great deal on a great product and it lasts you two to three months on average versus going and buying other brands where it'll last you barely 30 days and then you're right back getting the same stuff, praying for a better result, okay? Um, oh, and like I was saying before, the, the other thing I like about this is that we can custom um, do custom skincare with this. Even though you have those great brands up there, you can mix and match them. They work synergistically together. So the first one I'm just going to talk about, and some of these slides kind of go into detail, so I'll kind of skim through them. Um, but the first one is our botanical, it's all botanical, this is intelligence. Love this line. This is great for beginners, teenagers, basically anybody, but perfect for anybody who has um, sensitive or uh, skin micronization, -like things like that. That does help it because they just, it just uh, irritates their skin anytime they put it on it. So that's the first line here. It's, like I said, it's great for sensitive skin. Uh, botanical, it's formulated with natural extracts. It's got alpha hydroxy acids. And what those do is just help to soothe the skin and keep it firm. Uh, it, like I said, it's simple and effective for all skin types, fully too dry. It doesn't matter. Um, and what it basically does is try to put the skin back in a balanced state because we get bombarded with environmental issues and um, just it just tears up your skin. Uh, it's non comedogenic What that means is it doesn't clog the pores. So anytime you see that, that's great because you don't want anything, you know, plugging up your um, pores on your face and hot Um Let's see. Okay, so the first thing is just the cleansing emulsion. It's water activated. This is a cream. This is a really nice um, cleanser. We'll simply use, add a little water, emulsify on the face, takes off your makeup, everything. Uh, just be careful not put it in your eyes if it's not an eye makeup remover. Um, it does sting a little bit if you get a little crazy, like you know, me. So, um, you know, get that fire blush going on, you gotta get it off. I'm really bad about that. <laughs> so don't do that. But anyway, it is fantastic for any skin type. The pH skin normalizer. Okay, if y'all have not tried this, you need to put this on the list. Okay? It normalizes the skin and it does a great job of toning it. But what I like about it, it's multifaceted like a lot of our products. Um, job trying to be a little personal. You know, you ladies, when you shave your legs, you get a little, try to get in a hurry, a little razor, spray it on there. Get a bug bite, spray it on there. Get an ant bite, spray it on there. My dog is scratching because he had not get to spray it on there. <laughs>
So that's what's great about that. It's multifaceted. Uh, skin perfecting complex. Now this is a wonderful little serum, serum with amino acids in it, and uh, it helps to moisturize the skin and just leaves your skin feeling silky and smooth. Uh, it's great for everyday use. Uh, I have a client that uses it uh, on her arms and her hands because she gets irritations, and it helps to moisturize and keep a barrier on there. So she loves it. And then the Alpha 24 Triple Revitalizing Complex. That's a mouthful, but that's just another moisturizer with some greater benefits um, to the skin because it's got age fibers in it. Okay. These are just some wonderful extracts that they use. Another reason why I love this line, and you'll see all the natural, the dandelion, the bee pollen, aloe. Everybody loves aloe, it's great for the skin. Something that I've learned in recent months is avocado oil is fabulous for the skin. It doesn't clog your pores, and it's a great moisturizer. It keeps the hydration. And of course, lavender is great for all skin types, especially if you have oily skin. Uh, and then you'll see a few others on there, chamomile for soothing. And there's tons more. But that's why it's a, a pure botanical. Uh, and the uh, next one is Thomas. I'm going to let uh, Josh do this one because he just loves this one. So. Oh, and you need that one, Josh. Well, my name is Josh. I'm 21 years old. If you would have told me three or four years ago I would be promoting skincare lines, I would have laughed hysterically. Um, but no, I mean, this business really revolutionized a lot of the way I think about things. The people that I've met, I mean, I've known Brandy for a while, but in this time, I don't know if I see you. But I mean, it's just phenomenal products. You know, it's something you can get behind the people that you meet. Is you see that little pink bottle right there? Yeah. Well, this is my favorite stuff of all time because it's this time and it lasts me like three, four, five months, depending on how bad my acne is and how stressed out I am. Um, but before I had to talk to Brandy about this, and I said this before, but I used to walk into the mall and you know the little kiosks in the middle, you know, where like they have the skincare products. Like, hey, try this. Let me see your arm. Let me show you something. Right? Well, as I've been walking through the mall, it happened every single time. Every single hey, let me fix your face. Hey! And then ladies, we would give you a deal, right? They give you a deal, you know, $75. And you can have this one at my cost, and I'll give you this one for free. But it's only a 30 day supply. Like she was saying, you have to just come right back. Oh, and by the way, tell all your rich friends about it too, because I know you're a college student and you're going great places. That's a direct quote. The lady did tell me that exactly, actually. Wow. Um, but $75, and that was at her cost, quote unquote, and she gave me a free product. This is $17 of our cost. 25, I sell it for 25, and it lasts two, three, four months. That's just a great product. It's a product. I sell it to all my acne clients, and I can't keep it on my shelves. And I try not to, actually, because I'll try to get them to come to our website. But it just flies off. I only keep a couple, but it's gone every time I get it, so it's a fabulous product. Actually, yeah, 100%. And actually, with this product specifically, you can match it with the Thomas prescription kit, whatever you buy the kit, and with the calcium plus, how they throw the calcium plus in there for free, you can throw that in there for free as an extra quote unquote, and then just come back and buy that more than anything else. Hmm. That's what I found. Uh, but it works great. I use um, the Thomas prescription. This in the bottle over here, but basically this kit and then the anti-aging oxygen extreme stuff works great, feels great. But um, basically, you know, my acne has gone away uh, significantly since from where it was before. I actually went to a dermatologist, had to get a prescription medication. And choose between that or the topical cream that works for three to four years and may not even clear your acne. So every day, and I, I don't, I like doing the minimal. I'm, Honestly, like this is the most I've taken care of my face in my whole life, 100%. But the price for that medication for the doctor, what the doctor prescribed, not the generic, was 600 bucks a month for a 30-day supply. And sometimes you had to double up. The generic was 130, and you still had to double up. And on the outside, tore up my skin. I always had to have chapstick. I couldn't be 
well, I wasn't supposed to be in the sunlight at all hours of the day, but I detail cars, so I'm outside at least five, six hours a day. And then, you know, spring break hit, and I was the sun all day, too. So that wasn't good. The dermatologist was not happy about that. But, you know, it just goes back to this right here. Is the products, they last for two to three months, and they're priced phenomenally. Yeah. And they work. Yeah. Now, the Thomas prescription office could see on these two on the left, they're face peels, face masks. My sisters love them. Like, I bought them for Christmas because, you know, why not? Buy my sisters gifts, so I'm getting paid for it. <laughs> Makes sense. Um, but I, I was like, hey, I'm gonna go steal one of those, you know, to see how it works. And she's like, nah, we're out, you know, or some more. I was like, it's been 10 days. Come on. I have two sisters, and they always have friends that are always over, so everything. The Thomas prescription, the three-step acne care, that's going to be more for intensive care. Like if you have really bad acne or you know someone that has really bad acne, that's the best way to do it. I mean, you mix and match because everyone's different. Everyone's skin tones are different. The way your skin is, my skin's going to be different than anyone else's in this room just because of how we're created. You know, it makes us look special, unique. Um, so my little cousin uses that and my buddy Kyle uses that and he loves it. And he actually, he's the fastest person I've ever seen go through it. Bottle of anti-fungal solution. He went through a whole bottle in like three weeks, uh, just because he was like every morning, every night, just put it on. Like every, like before I go to school, wipe it all off. Hey, hey, you need this? You try this too? I was like, yeah, you keep doing that, buddy. You keep doing that. Uh, but anyways, so going over these sweet bullet points. Uh, you now they aid in protecting balancing the skin, premature aging. Guys, I know I look like I'm 60 already, just, you know. but honestly, I get, I told someone the other day, I went to the movie theater, and I got carded to see a rated R movie, and then I went again with some friends, and they're like, you're not 13, there's no way you're 13, I mean, that was back in the day, but still, um, but my parents always told me, take care of your skin now, so you don't have to do it later, my dad's had, my dad had a scar for the longest time, for sunscreen as a kid. So, um, he's really instilled that in us, and I really didn't pay attention because of what his dad did, right? Um, so I started doing this, and I've seen a phenomenal, you know, I feel better about myself, I feel confident, you know, I can walk into a room, I won't skip school anymore because I have a bad sit somewhere, you know, things along those lines. Um, the liposome delivery system, it's kind of tough to explain, so that'd be something you want to go in and research on your own because it's a lot of information that you have to look at it to see it because it's just a lot of stuff. Super cool though, science. Woo! Um, <laughs> okay, the NDAC complex, my mom stole that from me, so I don't really get to use it. Um, I had it for like three days and she snagged it, so I just need to order some more, I suppose. But she loves it. Um, Okay, these are my three favorites, which is what I use on a daily basis. The face exfoliating, exfoliating cleanser with the enzymes and NDI complex. I was working on a truck yesterday and it was super greasy and I didn't wear gloves. So I had grease all over my face. I went home, took a shower, and came off super greasy. I don't know if anyone here worked with grease. I'm sure you've worked with grease at some point in time and it's fun to get off. Uh, you know, just going and washing your face, it came off no problem. Super, super easy, no heavy scrubbing. No Dawn, no heavy duty, no one cleansers, but super good. Um, the front activator, I really didn't, I was like, there's no point in that, you know? And then I started using it, my pores started closing up, and my face started looking better, and I started feeling better. And actually, this reduces the redness. All of these work together and actually reduce redness. They reduce the look of agitation. And then whenever you put that anti blemish lotion on after the facts, it really helps clear it up too. And then the face removal moisturizer with the MDAC complex is what I use afterwards when I'm all done. Put it on on the face while I have a bit. Those are the peels that I was talking about. And the oxygen extreme is the peels, or the, the peels and then the oxygen extreme. I like those because they like push oxygen to your skin. You know, they make you look young, feel young. You're good to go in the morning, you feel refreshed. So, those are those. I right, really enjoy those. So there's a before and after of the three-step acting program. And my buddy Kyle, who's taking this, um, his act.
acne was probably about as mine was. Uh, I mean, like 30, 40 zits on his forehead, like his nose just stayed red. I mean, all the time. Uh, no, I, I actually don't have pictures. I went through all the pictures on my computer. Uh, my uncle, thankfully, edited all the zits out of those. So he's a good looking picture out. And the thing I want to mention about those products is that with anything, um, when you send these products to your um, clients and your customers, is to teach them the consistency. That if you don't use it on a regular basis, then right. you're not going to get the results that you want. And especially with the acne skincare line, you can't use it for two or three days and go, oh, I'm sick of this, I can't do this. But, and he'll, he'll, he'll tell you, you know, as long as you stay persistent and do the steps the way you're supposed to, then you're going to get that clear, more beautiful skin that you want. So it's a great product. I love it. I have several people who sit there acting that they love it. Um, if they don't use it right, it'll dry out your skin. But that's because they're not using it appropriately. But it's a fabulous product. Just you to make sure you use it consistently. She's 110% right. <laughs> uh, one thing that I like though is I was, because I was going through these, because I never really look at what's inside of stuff. I mean, if it works, it works. I'm not going to complain. This is how I am. But, um, Pretty much everything in here is 100% natural. It's plant derived. It's from nature. God made it for us. So why not use it? As you can see, the growing, I like pineapples. So pineapples was important to me. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, we actually have one plus two. That's a great isotonics product. 110% recommended. Jamora's plus two. He actually turned me on to it. I didn't even know we had it. Um, Pomegranates are good, by the way, if anyone wanted to know. They're great for the skin. Let's see. Camel, we're, pretty much if you look through any of our products, they're going to have aloe, they're going to have chamomile, they're going to have lavender. All those natural products that help with soothing, make your skin feel young and refreshed too. And back to you. And that's the wonderful thing about these products is that they try to use botanicals and essentials, uh, you know, uh, essential oils and things like that, uh, because they want to try to stay as natural as possible. And that's one of the things I pride myself in my uh, office is that I don't really do anything that's detrimental to the skin. I want you to come in so we can protect it and maybe reverse a little bit of what you've already done. And so that's the best way to do it. I mean, you know, when you go to the gym, you work out, you want this nice, wonderful body, and you quit going to the gym, you lose it, okay? But it takes you forever to get that body. So it's the same thing with your skin. It's your largest organ. you got to take care of it. It's baby steps. So... Uh, this is uh, Cellular Labs. Uh, this skincare line is really made for more mature to slightly dry skin. Um, this is a fabulous line. It's got uh, lots of um, uh, ingredients in it that, uh, that works at a cellular level to help repair the skin. Um, as we get older, the skin has loses its moisture, loses its texture, its elasticity, its volume. And these products kind of come back in and replenish those things and help that at a, at a cellular level. So that's where the science of this product comes in. It is not really great for um, oily skin. Please don't use it on anybody with oily combination skin because they're going to come back and go, um, I feel like, um, you know, I'm really super oily and my skin's not looking the same. It's nice and shiny and hydrated, but it's going to break them, you know, break them out. This is really made for that um, mature skin that wants to stay nice and hydrated. Um, helps maintain the healthy skin tissue by promoting the normal cell function and cell to cell communication interaction because if they if like I said it works at a cellular level. Uh, it comes with a, a DHE facial cleanser, it's botanically rich, it's enzyme based, you'll find a lot of these um, products have enzymes in it, which is just a natural um, uh, interaction to get oil and dirt and grime off of your face without using any kind of detergent. Again it's all material. Um, the de-aging toner softens, soothes, and hydrates, prepares, prepares the skin for moisture, uh, and includes antioxidants in it. I do like this. This, um, I don't use it often enough, uh, but I do like it uh, to help soften the skin, especially if it's uh, mature skin that's really kind of uh, dehydrated. It works great. Um, the moisturizer day cream, I just had several uh, clients text me just in the last few weeks because I never really saw this very much until recently. And actually, one of my clients is 25. And uh, you know, nothing was working for her. And I said, you know what? I got this woman. Let's try it. She was a little flaky. Nothing would try. It helped. We, I mean, we did some 
some serums and some treatments, and for some reason, whatever in her daily life, and she's a healthy young lady, wouldn't work it. We put her on this uh, day cream with the SPF, she fell in love with it. She said it just feels like she's putting souffle on her skin because the moisturizer is light, it's fluffy, it doesn't sit on the skin, the molecular structure is obviously small so it's going to absorb, and it just kept her moisturizing. She only used it for three days before she takes me back. I was just astonished because of her age. But that is a wonderful, wonderful um, moisturizer. They do, it does come without SPF. Uh, the only difference is that the SPF 20 in it is more for day. The one that doesn't have the SPF, um, it does have some nice properties in it for, for people who are concerned about uh, age spots and freckling and things like that. And it kind of helps with that thing. Um, the DHI cream, which I love, helps with wrinkles and dark circles. Under the eye, it's not heavy, it's great for puffiness, you can use it morning and night, I love that. That's actually my go-to. Uh, the Rebar Serum is really nice. Um, it's a uh, bioactive synthetically growth hormone uh, material that supplements the growth hormones. I have to read this because uh, growth hormones naturally produced in the body to help produce visible signs of aging. I use this in some of my higher facials and their skin looks so nice and glowing when they leave here. I'll put this on now and let it set. And when they leave, and I put the more structure, when they leave, they feel like they just have the best treatment in the world. So that is a fantastic serum. Um, that is one of my go tos DH uh, Lifting Facial Mask. Um, this is nice. It comes in a packet. I think it's a packet of uh, five or six. And they're like little paper um, masks. You just tear it open. Ah, look at the things. Brian Kramer and Ms. Brady's got one. It comes just like this. So simple and easy to use, easy to add on. You pull, I mean, they come in the box. I sell them separate as an add-on treatment, and they fall in love with these. And they go, "I gotta have that." I said, "That, that little, that little thing." Yeah, yeah, whatever that was. I love how it made me feel. Absolutely, I sell you the whole box. <laughs> so that's how I can sell it. I just, I just put it on as a simple add-on. Don't really charge them a whole lot. And then when they say, "I gotta have that," absolutely, you do. So let's get you the box. <laughs> The body balm, I have not personally used the body balm, but it, it does go in line with the rest of the products because it is for mature uh, and dry skin. Uh, it has the soybean oil in it, the sunflower, coconut, shea butter, so it is a little bit heavier. It's great for your elbows, your arms, things like that. And the sunscreen is great. The being an esthetician, I'm going to tell you, you can have sunscreen in your makeup, you can have it in your, uh, I don't care, your moisturizer, I don't care what you have in it. That's fantastic. That's great. You need a broad spectrum sun, uh, sunscreen. When you put that on, that gives you the ultimate barrier that you need to protect yourself from the UV rays. So I cannot stress enough: sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. And if it's in your makeup and it's in your other products, fantastic. Then you have more sunscreen. So I can't stress that enough. It, we just we just do too much damage with the sun, and that's what causes inflammation, and inflammation causes aging. Okay, so now we get to the Lumiere de Vie. By far phenomenal, phenomenal products. Um, this, I, I will admit, this is the one line I was really glad to uh, because I thought mm, maybe it might be a little bit pricey, but let me just tell you, you've got to have this product. You, you take this and you touch it on your client or customer's skin and let it absorb in and do one hand and not do the other. And they're going to tell a difference instantly. Okay, it's designed to help promote healing in the skin, uh, regardless of age. Because so it's good for anybody. Um, it gives, like I said, it, it makes an immediate difference. It gives it a nice glow and uh, improve the look of the skin overall. Uh, it's got the highest quality natural ingredients, powerful formulas that heal, soothe, moisturize, protect, and acts as first aid for the skin. So why wouldn't you use it? The facial cleanser, I absolutely love. I use this in my office on a daily basis. It has panthenol in it and alanol in it. What these things do, this is one of the reasons why it's good for anybody. It shouldn't irritate you. Those things are soothing properties. Before I used this one, I used a very um, private one. Uh, and that panthenol was the one that we used the most of. Uh, because anybody who came in that just said, oh, I can't do this, my skin's going to get irritated. It's going to get nice, trust me. This has a panthenol in it. You're going to walk out and your face is not going to be red. Fell in love with this, so I use this all the time. Uh, the 
intense, oh, excuse me, the toner. Uh, that's also pH balance and it promotes healthy skin and hydration. And it's great for rough skin. has a little bit of an exfoliant in it. Um, so my clients love that. Intense rejuvenation cream hydrates the skin, targets reduction of appearance, lines, wrinkles, age spots, improves skin, radiance, and firmness. Keyword, firmness. Every woman in this room wants a little extra firmness up in the skin, okay? <laughs> Okay. Two minutes. Okay. Uh, sorry. 
Okay, Tax, well, I actually just ordered this. Um, I was going through reviews, and there was a lady who says she won't go anywhere without it for, she's been doing it for 10 years, and it basically goes in and removes scarring, scar tissue, and it just keeps your skin looking great. And there's that one. You can go to the next one real quick. Uh, well, there's before and afters for you. So, I mean, if you have a lot of scars from acne and things along those lines, that's the stuff. <laughs> And then we also have the amazing Vita Shield. Um, these are just concentrates of products like vitamin C, the C and E. Uh, and the one that I like the most is the one that has the OBC3 in it. I do uh, a premium facial with that, and I infuse it with other equipment. And it keeps my clients coming back more and more because it just revitalizes the skin and gives it a nice uh, bounce back to it. And these are some of the ones that we have, the vitamin C intensive. OBC3 Triple Serum and the CNE Intensive Moisturizer and the Intensive Eye Forming Treatment. These are all fabulous products. I use the CNE and we tell that in my office as an add on treatment uh, and they always usually take it home. Alright, one of my personal favorites, Clear Shield. Um, I really don't, there's nothing bad to say about it. I mean, everyone knows how important it is to protect your skin. My hands are in and out of water all day. I'm dealing with chemicals and I'm detailing that are actually stronger than acid in some cases. And this is my best friend. I mean, there's a 12 ounce can, there's 360 uses for one can. I'm still, I just got to my second can, but actually my second can for what, eight months now? And I mean, it, I have PTs, my dad loves it, and if I can get my dad on the product, it speaks values. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I mean, actually, I put it on my face. Uh, I heard someone say they use it for hair dressers, cosmetics, and go on those lines. I put it on my face. I use it as a lotion whenever I don't put lotion on my face, um, like before the day, and things along those lines. So, it's a phenomenal product. It protects your skin and it lasts for four to six hours. And your skin can breathe normally and you're not going to sweat. And it's just really, really refreshing. Yeah, the thing I like about it is it's got the aloe and the vitamin E in it, so it's also soothing, so it doesn't dry out the skin. I have several uh, of my husband's friends that use it, they're mechanics. They put it on and they go to work. When they get it home, they don't have to use like the go-go. Go-go. Yeah, go-go. That's not one of your stuff. Anyway, but it tears up the skin and it dries it out. So they put this on, they put rinse off, and they're good. They're good to go. Oh, okay. Um, and just, I know that's a lot of information and it's a lot of different products. And some of it I didn't really go into great detail with. But the great thing about this company is that when you go online and you want to look at some of this, when you go into the word tab and you think you want to look at it, don't scroll all the way to the bottom. It gives you benefits of it. It gives you the facts. It gives you the science. Anything you want. If you have a client that's interested in it and you're not, you don't want to tell them, man, all the information is there. This is a transparent company. They don't hide anything. And it's all available to you and your customers. So I really love that part of it.
and they're used to having a job. You know, when I worked as a cosmetologist, I cut hair today, and I was paid for those hours. And in doing that, I focused everything on what I was doing, because I was only in control of what I was doing. But in Market America, you can't really focus on the hours that you are working. You have to work, look at the hours of what an organization does, not just what you do. So what you do in Market America is what we call 45-year plan hours. Okay, so most people are used to working a job. They go to work around the age of 20 to 25. They're supposed to retire around the age of 60 to 65, and we call that the 45-year plan, right? Okay, so in Market America, we still have that, but that's based on the hours that you are working. That's what we call the 45-year plan hours. Market America offers what we call the two to three year plan, right? Somebody works for two to three years, and in two to three years, they're able to produce an ongoing six figure income. That's what the plan is designed to do. That is what an organization can do through your example is what we call the two to three year plan. So in Market America, we have, um, David and I call a three legged stool. So have you guys ever seen like a milking stool before? Yeah, okay, they're really short, right? And they're very sturdy. I actually talked to somebody that, um, that owned a dairy farm, and he said that three-legged stools, the way that they're built, they're actually stronger than a four-legged stool. I didn't know that. He said they have to be very strong because when you're milking a cow, you don't know when the cow will move or get, get you knocked over, and so they're very sturdy. So if you can imagine Market America as being one of these three-legged stools, the top of it is basically the company and how the company works. But then these three legs really set us apart from other things. And I want to, we have trainings on this. How many of you guys have actually seen me train on the three-legged stool? Okay, so if you haven't seen this training, you can actually see this training on, um, what did we do it on? Do you guys remember? It was the phone call. Yes, it was the conference call that I did. It's, it's on YouTube, and it's called Market America versus MLM. Right? Market America versus MLM by Stacey Whited. And um, I think it's like a 30 minute uh, YouTube uh, that you can, it's a conference call, but it's got my picture on it, but that you can listen to. And I'm talking about this three legged stool. So this will just kind of give you an example of, of what that looks like. The three legged stool, the first leg of the three legged stool is what we call the mall without walls. It's what really sets us apart from anything else. Most of the time when you're dealing with somebody that's involved in direct sales or network marketing, a lot of times they have a limited product line. Would you guys agree? Maybe like Emily was talking about earlier, you know, she was involved in something that was just makeup before. Well, if, would you guys agree that if all you have is a company with makeup, you've now limited to yourself to how many people you can talk to about that company? Yeah. About half of the population. Would you guys agree? Because the other half probably aren't going to have much interest in that makeup. But when you have a whole mall without walls, yes, somebody may be interested in motives, but they may not. They may be interested in health and nutrition, or they're interested in pet health, or you know, or automotive. So then we have all of these different stores that you can offer. Here's another major thing that sets us apart. Let's say that I'm dealing with a company that all they have is peanut butter. All this company sells is peanut butter. And then I have this company over here that they sell peanut butter and they sell jelly. Would you guys agree that the person with peanut butter and jelly, as long as the peanut butter is equivalent on value, that they're probably going to sell more than the person that's just offering, offering peanut butter? They don't have to be a great salesperson, but because they now offer jelly, their volume has increased without having to add on to their distributorship or to get more customers. Does that make sense? But let's say the next month they add bread. Now what just happened? I just tripled volume without having to increase the amount of distributors in that company or increase the amount of customers. Do you guys see the power of having now millions of products with Market America? Because you don't have to be that great. Remember we say you need about 10 customers to do about $30 a month is our goal with Market America. 10 customers doing $30 a month is what it takes to create an ongoing residual income when following the Market America plan. And so understanding just the power of having this mall without walls, you don't have to be a great salesperson, you just have to be willing to offer the product. Does that make sense to everyone? So that's the first leg in our three-legged stool. The second leg is the marketing plan. Now, we've already spent a lot of time going over the marketing plan, but would you guys agree that it cannot be compared to anything else? Yeah. I mean, it is absolutely amazing. Remember what I said the day that we were going through the marketing plan? If you can sleep at night, you do not understand the marketing plan, right? If you're not sleeping at night, you're getting it. And so because, I mean, it cannot be compared to, like, we don't have
have the problems of levels like they have typically in multi-level marketing. We don't have the horizontal marketing where people are on competition with each other. We don't have all the downsides that they would have with a typical network marketing or direct sales company. So, and again, on that conference call that I did for Kelly and Troy, um, it's on there as well. I talk about the difference between that and what sets it apart. But the third leg is the, is the GMTSS, the Global Meeting Training Seminar System. This is what sets us apart from anything else. So remember that three-legged stool makes, a, makes that stool strong. It's the third leg. You would never trust a stool with two legs, right? Or trust a stool with one leg because it's going to fall apart. It's the third leg that really sets us apart. Um, if you've been involved in direct sales or network marketing, it's hard to expand your business to other areas outside of where you are, where you're currently living or working. Because who's going to train those people in those other areas? Does that make sense? You would have to fly there and train them yourself, or you'd have to pay somebody else to train them for you. With the Global Meeting Training Seminar System, I can have an organization in Alaska, or California like I do, or in New York, and those people would attend trainings and see the exact same PowerPoint that you're seeing. Uh, they're going to go through the exact same trainings of the Basic Five and the New One Franchise Owner Training. They're getting everything that, that I get here or that you get here, but they're being trained there, but they're still in my organization. Yeah. Do you see the power of that? So you could have meetings going on in Florida with Tanya, or in um, California with Colton, or in New York with Amber Yang, and you're getting paid for all of those people, and you're getting trained right here in Houston. Do you guys see the power of that? I mean, it's absolutely incredible. So let's talk about how these events work. So you guys obviously know the weekly checklist. Well, the seventh thing on the weekly checklist is to attend one to two meetings a week. And you may be like, why? I'm already busy. I already have a certain amount of hours in a week that I'm putting into this business. Why would I attend a meeting? The meetings are what create the leverage, are what create the residual income. And so don't underestimate the power of the meeting system and how that works and what we use it for. There's five purposes of events. The first is to gain knowledge. You know, you don't have to go to college to be an unfranchise owner, but you still have to get education in order to be a successful unfranchise owner. Because you come into this business not knowing anything, but if you want to create professional income in this business, what do you have to become? Professional. A professional, of course. You can't make professional income and not become a professional. The only, the nice thing about this is you don't have to stop and go to college, graduate from college, and then make money, creating debt along the way. You actually make money as you're learning simultaneously. What a great deal, right? I mean, pretty incredible. So, but you have to gain the knowledge in order to run another franchise. The second step is to improve your attitude. We call uh, the training system with Market America the basic five. Do you guys know what the first thing is of the basic five? Attitude. attitude and knowledge. That's exactly right. So we've covered your gaining knowledge. The second one is attitude. It's really understanding what you have your hands on. It's a posture that you gain and knowing, oh my gosh, this is different from anything else and I can actually be uh, very confident and share it with others. You know, David and I, we have a funny joke that the only people that don't make money in Market America is what we call undercover Market America unfranchise owners. <laughs> that if it was illegal to be an unfranchise owner, they would never be convicted. <laughs> because nobody would ever know. <laughs> it's like, but when you have the knowledge and you have uh, the belief that this thing works, you want to tell everyone because you realize you're offering something that could completely change their life. And it's not something that you get the first day, it's something by being around and, and hearing more about it and having a, a greater understanding that you get the attitude, that, yes, I want to share this with others because it's changing my life, but I know it can change their life as well. Does that make sense? And then the third thing is, is changing a behavior. You know, again, a lot of times when you become an unfranchised owner, you go from a job mentality, which is what most of us did, is we work a job, and you're used to being told what to do, right? So they say to be at work at 10, and you get off at 5, and so you go to work from 10 to 5. And while you're there, you pretty much have a structure of this is what needs to be done. So most people are used to being in that environment. And then you start Market America as an unfranchised owner, and it's like, oh my gosh, now what do I do? Nobody's really telling me what to do. And so it's like really learning a system.
system and a behavior from going from being an employee mindset to an owner. Does that make sense? There's a difference between being an employee and being an owner. If you want to create residual ongoing income, you have to become an owner. Because um, the owner is what creates residual income to be able to walk away because it's that mentality and it's that understanding, it's the behaviors that you do on a daily basis that create that residual income. It's when you're tired and you don't feel like doing something that you still do it, right? It's taking action. And so Pete, I know that there's a lot of business owners in here, but would you guys agree that there's a difference between an owner mentality and a, an employee mentality? Would you guys agree? And so it's learning how to switch from this to that, and that comes from attending events and learning what you have your hands on, but also learning the behaviors of what unfranchised owners do. So that's the third thing. The fourth thing is developing skills. Because you come in this with a certain skill level. You know, my, my husband and I started at 23, so our skill level was rather, rather low. But in a very short period of time, there's only a certain amount of skills that you need in Market America. So in a certain amount of time, in a short period of time, you can learn those skills in order to be successful. But again, you have to be listening to the audios, you have to be reading the books, and you have to be attending the events to learn the skills that you need in order to be successful. And I mean, that's why you know we make phone calls. That's why we teach you how to show the business plan. That's why you know all of those things that we're practicing in Leadership Academy, that's why we try to make it a workshop where you're not just listening, but you're actually implementing and learning at the same time. And so those are very important as well. And then the last is building belief. Belief is everything. You know, it's, it's really interesting because I was just talking to uh, Kenneth earlier before we started tonight, and we were talking about belief because there's a difference between faith and belief. Would you guys agree? Okay, so if you look at like a definition, what would that be? Well, faith requires something from you before there is evidence. So faith is requiring something from you before there's evidence. But belief is unshakable conviction based on first-hand experience. Does that make sense to you guys? Unshakable conviction based on first-hand experience. Well, you get that by attending the event. So one thing I want to do real fast, I didn't even tell Kenneth, but Kenneth, will you come up here real fast? <laughs> so this is Kenneth Kirby, and he is new with Market America. How long have you been with the business? Okay, October 19th he got started, and he went to his very first world conference. And we were actually, tonight before we started, we were talking about the belief. Can you tell us what you told me before when we started tonight? Sure. Um, in going to the world conference, I already knew in my head that this is a great opportunity. I already knew in my head that this is something that, that I could do. But while I was there, it got in the heart. With really the with the heart, I'm already there. I'm just waiting for the pieces to catch up now. Okay? It's it's awesome. Glad to hear awesome. I think that's important to, to hear. Belief, I think it's one thing to believe in the company, uh, that yes, the, the company is great, to where you have a belief in yourself that it could actually work for you. You've seen it for others, but also having a belief that this can work for me. I can make this happen. And there's no doubt about it. It's going to happen for soon. Zoom kind of no doubt about it so really exciting let's talk about um, how the GMTSS is actually designed and why we have it I want you to understand that in market America um, nothing is done by accident you guys probably saw at World Conference JR thinks things through yeah. you guys got to notice about that he's a, he's a thinker and so there's a reason and a purpose behind everything that we do in market America and so I know that we always say that Market America is not a pyramid, and it isn't, but the GMTS kind of is. <laughs> <laughs> or at least it kind of forms that shape. So let's talk about um, the GMTSS and how that works. You have the lowest level, as you can tell, if this has a laser on it or not, but the lowest level at the bottom, the biggest part of the, of the pyramid. Do you guys ever remember when you were growing up like, in the Cheerios box that had like the food pyramid? Do you guys ever see that? The bottom was supposed to be the uh, most amount of food that you were supposed to eat, and as you went up, I think it was grains or something was the bottom. Of course, because it was put out by a Cheerios box there. <laughs> of course you need your carbs. But you know, it had the, 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 
the biggest portion at the bottom, and then as you went up, it was supposed to be like sweets were at the top, you know, the least amount that you're supposed to be eating. Does that make sense? Well, that's kind of how this pyramid works for market America. It's kind of like that food pyramid. You have the lowest level, which is what we call one-on-ones and two-on-ones. And what that means is it's Michelle sitting across the table from Brittany showing the business plan to her one-on-one. -on -one. Does that make sense? That's the lowest level and it's something that every person could do. You could be the brand newest person. Jamoris, you're the, you're the newest unfranchised owner here tonight, but you can do this. Does that make sense? Because every person can either share a video or pull out a flip chart and share concepts and ideas and dreams with another person. Does that make sense? Every person can do that. You don't have to be certain, making a certain amount of money. Every person can do that and that's our goal. We want every person in this room doing that. Does that make sense? So that's the lowest level um, of, of how this, the company works. The next thing up is what we call HBPs, which is Home Business Presentation, or UBPs, which is Unfranchised Business Presentation. And HBP is actually done in people's homes. So it can be done by anybody as well. You're sharing with a group of people. Now, instead of just having Michelle and Brittany together, now we have a group of maybe five people that are sharing this concept in somebody's home. Does that make sense? And then we have an unfranchised business presentation. Um, it's using the same slides as you would use in your home, but now it's on a screen and people are more dressed up and it's a more professional setting. And usually the person in front of the room is making significant amount of money. Does that make sense? And then you also have Basic 5, which is a training system in Market America. That's the next rung or the next part of the, of the pyramid with the GMTSS. If the one-on-ones and two-on-ones are not happening, you guys can see that there would be no reason to have a home business presentation or an unfranchised business station or unfranchised business presentation or a basic five. Does that make sense? And so if there's nobody showing up at home business presentations or unfranchised business presentations, then what we do is we say there's not enough one-on-ones, we need to get back into the coffee shops, showing the business plan, and then we can come back and start this process again. Does that make sense to everyone? But the lowest level has to happen first before the next level. From there, we go to locals and what we call specialized training. Houston is going to have their very first local in March. <laughs> and the reason that the local is happening is because there was a need for it. Because we were having one-on-ones going on, which led to unfranchised business presentations. But then we needed a training where what we do is we bring somebody in from another state to come and train here on how they built their business. Um, it usually goes from about nine to four or eight to three or you know something like that. Um, and so it's just a great training and it's done by somebody from another area. One thing you'll find in this business is people will always listen to somebody else more than they'll listen to you. It's kind of like being a parent, right? <laughs> they're always gonna listen to somebody else more than they're gonna listen to you. And so it always works that way. And so that's why we bring somebody else in. It's like a you know an expert from afar. They're always gonna listen to that expert from afar more than they're gonna ever listen to you. So we bring those people in, and that's the next rung of this pyramid with the GMTSS. But if one-on-ones are, are not going on, there's no reason for a local seminar. Does that make sense to everyone? The only reason we have a local is because it's necessary, and each one of these should be a bigger and more exciting event. Okay, so you have a one-on-one -on -one with Michelle sitting down with Brittany, showing her the business plan, and she's like, okay, this looks pretty good. But then she brings her to an unfranchised business presentation, and there's, let's say, 50 people there, and she's like, oh, I'm not the only crazy one looking at this, and this looks, actually looks kind of good. And then she brings her to a local seminar where there's maybe 150 people there, and then she's like, wow, okay, this thing must be really working. And so each one is more professional, as well as it brings more belief to Brittany that this thing actually might work. Does that make sense to you guys? Each rung is important in this process. And the next thing is a district rally or a regional convention. A district rally is where you have an area that has many local seminars going on. It may be, you know, for the state of um, Texas. So you have a local going on in Austin, you have a local going on in Houston, and you have a local going on in Dallas. So those three are going on. So then what we would do is we have a district rally where you bring, you bring the whole state of Texas together 
for a training, and at that point you would bring in somebody that's even making more money from another state. Does that make sense? So um, typically for a local seminar, it would be up to national supervising coordinators of so somebody making $10,000 to $15,000 in a four-week period. A district would typically be somebody that's making anywhere between $18,000 um, in a four-week period up to $100,000 in a four-week period. Does that make sense? So typically somebody that's making more money that at, that, at that event that's coming to speak. Does that make sense to everyone? More people, more money up front, more credibility for the company and for you. It's just building that belief for other people. Is that making sense to everyone? So I want you guys to see this because that's where we're going with the state of Texas. And then the last thing for this one right here on the district rally is what we call a regional convention. David and I are the regional directors for Market America. That's eight states that we're responsible for. So you're just seeing what's going on here in Texas, but we also are working on the same thing in Kansas. So these locals and these district rallies and these UVPs and everything that you have going on here is also happening in Kansas. It's also happening in Oklahoma. And it's also happening in Missouri. And it's also happening in Louisiana. And it's also happening in Colorado. So uh, as regional directors, then we're responsible for all of those meetings as well and making sure that those things are happening the way that they're happening here in Texas. Does that make sense to you guys? This is fine. So then we have a regional event which you pull all eight states together. So people will travel for a regional event and we may have it, typically it's gonna be in the Dallas area because where we are in the region, it's kind of more centrally located. So you guys are very blessed because you got people coming from all these other places, different states, but typically it's there. Um, and so what that means is people coming from eight states together, it's a little longer event, so it'd be like two or three days event, but we would bring in a corporate member. So you might be learning from Mark Ashley, or, uh, and then also we'd have a higher level there too, so you might be listening, learning from Mark Ashley and um, Big Al, you know, or something like that at that event. So you'd have corporate person training at that event as well. And then those build into, but you would never have a district rally or a regional event if one-on-ones and two-on-ones weren't happening. Does that make sense? And there, there'd be no reason for that if these things aren't happening. And then the top of that pyramid, where the sugar would be, right, in your in your food pyramid, I think it's sugar. Do you guys know? This should be, if not, I think sugar should be the top of that pyramid. <laughs> but it is International Convention and World Conference. That's what you guys just attended. So International Convention World Conference is two out-of-state trainings. International Convention is always in Miami, Florida. Our World Conference is always in Miami, Florida. And International Convention is always in Greensboro, North Carolina. And International is in August. And World Conference is in February. So for that, you've got people flying all over the world, not just all over the United States, but all over the world to attend these events and uh, learning from the whole corporate team. Does that make sense? So I want you guys to first understand that there's a reason behind everything, and um, and they're not just coming up with something, oh, that sounds like a good idea, let's throw that in there. There's a reason behind everything that they do. So you guys see that when you went to World Conference, a lot more money being made from people all over the world that you're seeing, as well as you're learning directly from the, the corporate team and the vendors. So each one gets bigger and better and builds more confidence and belief um, as you go up the rung. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay, yeah. So if you can imagine, um, if you can imagine that the GMTSS looks a lot like a clock, okay? You guys can look at this clock here. And what we do is these events are spread out throughout the year. So this clock is representing um, the year, okay? So you have basically Miami is at one o'clock and Greensboro is at seven o'clock. Does that make sense to you guys? And then you have a local in between that and then you have regional, regional and district are across from each other. So they're six months apart. Does that make sense to everyone? And then you have another local, you have Greensboro, you have another local district and another local. So what I wanna do is I wanna actually draw out for you what's happening here so you guys will know what the year 2017 looks like for you guys and how to build from event to event to event to promote your business. Does that sound like a good idea? Okay, so let's actually, um, I'm gonna have to draw and set my microphone down as we do it, but let me draw out the, the clock for you for this area. Don't laugh at my circle. 
Okay, understanding that each vent is, is critical for building your business, and each time you want more people that are attending with you. So let's break down. How am I doing on time? Okay, I've got about three minutes. Okay, let's break down the difference between how to promote an event and how to announce an event. There's a difference between the two, promoting and announcing events. When somebody announces something, let's say that you're going to be moving this weekend, okay? So Stephanie puts on Facebook, she makes an announcement, I'm going to be moving this weekend. Can anybody come in and help me? The chances of somebody showing up, which is an announcement on Facebook, is pretty slim. Would you guys agree? I agree. I agree. So if she wants help, she's going to need to call Josh and Sue and uh, the Kramers to ask, hey, can you help me move this weekend? I really could use your help. That's promoting somebody helping her versus making an announcement. Does that make sense? The business works the exact same way. If you just announce something's going to happen, the chances of people coming are very slim. But you are, if you are personally inviting or promoting an event, the chances of them are, are coming are much higher. Would you guys agree with that? So, I want to draw real fast um, just some ideas on promoting events and how to do that. So, can you guys give me different ideas that you have on promoting events and selling tickets? started with what I kind of thought of, but then you guys can help me. How do you promote an event versus announcing an event and actually selling tickets to an event? So let's talk about kind of some different things I, I did or I could think of. Um, so one of the things I've done is I let people know that it's another way for them to learn more about Market America, but also to meet the team members that they're going to be working with. That's important. You want to set the stage for what they can expect by attending that meeting. Because if they don't even know anything about it, the chances of them coming are very slim. And if you say, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so much fun, I can't wait for you to come, you're gonna to get to meet some of the different team members that we're working with, the chances of them coming are much higher. Here's the thing I want to point out though. I want to see how profound this is. 100% of the people you pick up, show up. Does that make sense to you guys? 100% of the people that you actually pick up are going to show up. If you expect somebody just to drive by themselves and show up, the chances of them coming are much slimmer. Because what happens to most people? They get off work, they go home, they have dinner, and they're like, oh, the last thing I want to do is leave the house again. Right? Last thing, I don't even know who's going to be there. I don't know anyone. I don't even know exactly where it is. Right? But if you're coming to pick them up and they know that you're going to be there, of course they're going to come with you. Right? JR has always shared this joke that, you know, he went to go pick up some guy and uh, knocked on the door and didn't hear anything and nobody came to the door. So JR drove around the block, came back, and the lights were off when he did. He was there. Came back around the block, came back, and the lights were off. He went to go, knock, knock, knock. So that's another important thing. Um, when somebody is 
registering their business is when you sell them on a ticket to another event. Does that make sense? So they're registering their business. Part of the part of registering your business is getting training. And so get them a ticket to the next upcoming event or to international convention or world conference. So that's the time because at that point, that's the height of their excitement. That's when they need to have a ticket so that they are learning how to build their business and to grow their business versus trying to chase them down afterwards. Does that make sense? And if they have a ticket, they bought it, it starts to burn a hole in their pocket. They're like, I spent $30 for that ticket. Of course I'm going to go, right? Most of the time they're going to show up. Um, let them know what they can expect. I think I covered that earlier. And uh, anything else that somebody's got? I heard about um, anything else that you guys can think of? Anything with you, Brandy? Covered it? So here's something I want you to write down for tonight before, just to finish this portion. Your ability to promote and sell events. So your ability to promote and sell events will determine the amount of residual income you will experience. Will determine the amount of residual income you will experience. So you can make six figures in Market America, but it doesn't mean it's residual. It's the training system outside of you, it becomes much bigger than you, that creates residual income. And there's a lot of different personalities in Market America and a lot of skill sets that we've seen. But the people that can sell the tickets and can get people to events and, and really promote that are always the ones that make the most amount of money. Because they understand that it's much bigger than them. It's about something bigger that people can attend and they're going to learn it goes from having faith to belief that it could actually work for them. Hey, I do, do want to say something because it's really profound when I think about Tom and his business and when he got started. You know, he actually he got started with David and Stacy in their early 20s. And, you know, he's like, yeah, you know, I don't know. It's really not, he wasn't very coachable, was he? No. And so, <laughs> well, he was listening to another 23-year-old couple. Like, whatever, whatever. You know, yeah. So they didn't know. They were blindly in the blind, but yeah, they were excited. But the point being was it took him 17 months to earn his first check, his first $300. And then what happened is they made fun of him for not going to the event. And he's like, I'm going to show them. So he decided to get on. We didn't just make fun of him. We booed him. <laughs>
60 days, 90 days rolls over, and now you're seeing the snowball effect of not just what I'm doing. Imagine, you know, it's about what we can do together. It's not just, you know, who I find to, to, to partner in this business or Stacy finds, it's who we all find together. And as people lead the people, lead the people, lead the people, this thing just catches on fire. Just look, it wasn't even here three and a half years ago. They were broker than a joke three and a half years ago. And they were just honored by our company standing in front of 30,000 people to say how this company in two years brought them to $7,500 Two, two, nine. 